Good morning. I'm here with uh, Tomas Insua from the Global Catholic Climate Movement. Uh, GCCA and GCCM have history back from the beginning of GCCM, and uh, we're here today at the Global Climate Action Summit. And, another uh, GCA. There's another so many GCC. letters here. <laughs> All about climate action. That's right. Um, so I just want to take advantage of, of the opportunity that we're here and, and ask. Uh, if you could share a few reflections about the last few years with GCCM, and you've come such a long way and done extraordinary things, uh, just, yeah, a few moments to, to reflect on what's happened. Sure. So, yeah, it's been an intense journey. We started GCCM right before the Pope published his encyclical letter, Laudato Si. Uh, so knowing that this beautiful, this powerful message from the Pope was coming, we, we set up GCCM to help the church implement it and turn it into practice. And since then, it's been a wild journey. I mean, it's been very intense. We've grown up to, we're currently about 700 Catholic institutions globally, um, all sorts of Catholic institutions, very large international networks, all the way to small local organizations, uh, and expanding our grassroots space as well, and really working on a number of projects to help the church actually put this into practice. So uh, my main takeaways, I would say there's an appetite to, and, and just in the wider climate conversation, there's an appetite for the, mo the moral, ethical framework for climate action um, as a source of motivation for a, getting the work done. And second takeaway, obvious, obvious one, is that we're not moving fast enough. I mean, there's a lot going on, which is super positive, but we're not moving fast enough. Uh, that's an obvious takeaway. Uh, GCCM is moving pretty fast. Yeah. You recently met the Pope, I understand. Yes. To talk about what uh, the Vatican is going to be doing coming up. Um, yeah. Of course, Laudato Si was inspired by the Pope's message in 2015. Um, tell us about that. What's next? Where, what's, what, what do you see coming out of uh, the Vatican? Yeah, so we had this great meeting event with the Pope. Um, and actually, since I moved to Rome, we have been collaborating uh, quite a lot more with the Vatican. Uh, what's to be expected? A lot more. The, the Vatican recently set up a new ecology and creation office, which is kind of a novel thing. It's the first time in 2,000 years that this institution has a ecology office, um, which is a sign that they're starting to give it a lot more priority. Um, so expect more on all different fronts. We're working with them on a number of projects ranging from um, helping the church decarbonize, become carbon neutral. That's one of the reasons why we're here actually, given this summit is all about action by non-state actors. The church is a huge non-state actor. We have lots of buildings, a lot of land. So we're, we're in the process of scaling up our support to our members to actually get that work done and transition to 100% renewable energy, et cetera. So that's something we're working with on with the Vatican. Of course, the Vatican has always been very engaged in the Paris Agreement process. So now COP24 is coming up. And the Vatican has been convening some meetings and uh, yeah, with the purpose of trying to make a positive contribution to that dialogue, that process, which as we know will be hard, will be difficult. Great. Um, tell us a bit more about what GCCM is doing here at GCAS. So we had a wonderful press conference a couple of days ago um, with a wider divestment movement. So we had a, there was this big announcement, six trillion dollars in assets divested globally, um, and we had a sizable Catholic a representation in that, in both in the announcement itself and in terms of speakers, um, we had range. We had a speaker from the director of Caritas India announcing their divestment commitment and, and many other Catholic institutions. But that was the main speaker, and it was a powerful message. We were seeing the divestment campaign taking up quite a lot in the Catholic community. The Pope has become pretty vocal in the last couple of months. He had some strong messages for the fossil fuel industry, criticizing uh, bad behavior by the fossil fuel industry, which has, I think, nurtured a lot of the divestment momentum. So we have had that big event, and we're having another event today about more concrete action in terms of how, ranging from divestment to 
transitioning to renewable energy all the way to advocacy, creative advocacy. For example, today we'll have sisters um, here from the East Coast that are built a chapel in the path of a pipeline to block that pipeline. And th there's all Amazing. very interesting stories of Catholic act. Like, yeah, Catholic climate action going on. So we're creating that space to share stories and bring together Catholic folks in town. Fantastic. Live Laudato Si. Is that still of carrying course. on? Yeah, actually, today's the title of today's event is Living Laudato Si through climate action. We, that's our motto. Live, live Laudato Si. That's what we're all, Great. we're all about. Good. And over the year ahead and beyond COP24 and Katowice up through 2020, what do you see coming? What do you see in store for GCCM? Uh, a lot. The, a big priority, a, a new one, I would say, is this work of helping the church become carbon neutral, because right. that's totally new territory for us. Um, so that will be a big priority. Um, taking divestment to the next level, we already have 120 Catholic institutions that divested. We're hoping to bump that number up quite a lot more. Um, we are expecting yeah, deeper integration with the climate movement, uh, just deeper collaboration uh, with Fantastic. the climate movement. And a lot of work also, the other dimension that I didn't mention that is important for us is the spiritual side of things. So the season of creation is our main initiative. And that's now three years running. Yeah, and we're in the midst of the season of creation right now. Right it's now. the month of September. Yep. So it's the special moment in which Christians come together to pray for creation and that being the, the source of motivation for action. So that's a big priority and we're hoping to, it's becoming bigger and bigger. It's a collaboration with the other Christian churches, which is a beautiful message also in terms of sending a, a message that this is an issue that brings us together yep. despite divisions, historical divisions. So that's another big thing that we should expect a lot more coming up. Actually, we have a special event in CC coming up next year. I can't share it details now, but that's coming up. Tomas, wonderful to see you. Um, best of luck with everything. Um, we're always excited to talk about possible collaboration, and I look forward to our next chat soon. Indeed. Looking right. forward to it. Take care. Bye-bye. Ciao. Thanks, Antonio.